what's up y'all what it do welcome back i know i've been going okay i'm going to give y'all a little update in the next video this is a story time i have a story time for y'all yes but this is something that happened a while ago but i recently was triggered we're gonna get to it um her name is i'm gonna call her janet being my sister went out went to this club had a good little time you know how like you drunk at the club or whatever and you just become friends with somebody usually that don't stick like you just meet the person and you be like you know let's hang out outside of the thing and then y'all usually don't meet up <laughs> but then this situation me and janet actually linked and we hung out and we we was cool you know what i'm saying she had this dude right that she was just like very stupid for him, okay hey, i'm gonna call him cannon so she met cannon and she started telling me about cannon she kept telling me about him. i'm like oh, okay you really must like him you know because you keep talking about him she made it official with him really quick fast forward so she hit me up right and she like yeah i gotta go i gotta go do this move i gotta go do this move be like man i need to i need to do a pull up on him because he not answering his phone and y'all she knew where he was at and apparently where he was at she was like i know that that's a female house like this girl was tweaking off of candy right i'm talking about private investigating like really getting in her car really following him around um going popping up to people's houses that she, he felt she felt like cannon was like messing with you know these girls at and shit like that so she like, I need you to come with me, da 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 And I'm telling her, I'm like, to do what? Like, you just want to confront him? Like, what is you trying to do? But I'm thinking more like, okay, if anything, we gonna, we probably gonna get into a tussle with somebody. Okay, if we, if we go up there and cause a scene, I need you to be done with him. Like, cause your little scene, get whatever you need to get off your chest, and just be done with him. Like, don't go back to him and all this crazy stuff. But she was like, you right, da 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 like, I'm tired of him, I be crying over him. I'm believing her, but at the end of the day, me and Janet, like, at this point, I think me and Janet only been, like, friends for, like, less, a little, yes, less than a year. So, it ain't even been, like, years or nothing, but, like, little, like, a little under a year, right? At this point when she asked me to do this pull up or whatever so I'm like are you gonna come pick me up she come pick me up y'all <laughs> she pulled up y'all this girl had scarves that we y'all <laughs> you know how you wear a ski mask okay they have ski masks now they been had ski masks back in the day, but she had like these real thick scarves, right? It was black. She was like, we gonna cover our faces with these scarves. I'm like, what are you trying to do? She pulled up, she picked me up. She had the scarves, she had eggs, she had um, like condiment items. So like, you know, mustard, ketchup. Like, I was like, okay, girl. But I was looking at her like, I didn't expect her to act this way. That was my whole thing. We pull up, sure enough, her mans was there. Cannon was there, right? And I'm like, okay, what you want to do? We like park all a little off to the south. First of all, we kind of spin the block a couple times. Like, we went around the block a couple times. I don't know why she was doing that. It was irritating the hell out of me. I'm like, stop stop driving around the block. Like, park. Like, just park and call him. So, that's what she did. She was calling him. He wasn't answering the phone or whatever. So, she finally leave a voicemail. Because she she kept calling him, but she wasn't leaving, like, a voicemail. I'm like, leave him a message, like, and just say, like, like it's an emergency or something that he need to call you back. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what she ended up doing. He still never called. Like, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. She gets so amped. Like, we in the car. I guess the drilling, it was rushing or whatever. She gets so amped and so pissed off she get to putting the 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 scarf on right mind you she like the way she wrapped it so she like put it over her head wrapped it around her face and tied it in the back right <laughs> she's like you better put your shit on i'm like what are you planning on doing like what is what's going on like what are you planning on doing you gonna go knock on the door with the ski mask like the fake ski mask or like what are you doing like i was like i'm not put i'm not putting no scarf around my face like, I'm not pissed off. I'm with her, but I, this ain't my situation. I'm not really pissed off. Like, nobody done anything to me. So, I was like, let me go knock on the door. 
Like, you just stand off to the side. Let me go knock on the door and... We came up with like a whole thing. Like, I was just like, I'm just going to knock on the door. Depending on who answered, I'm just going to ask if he there. I'm like, is Cannon there? You know what I'm saying? And just let him know his girl was out here. That was it. That was that was my task. That's what I thought that I was going to be doing, right? So, we get out. We go over there. Mind y'all, again, it's nighttime. Okay? So, it's dark outside. There's no house light that came on. This was a full house. Like, not a townhome, not an apartment, an actual house, right? A housing neighborhood, like. And his car was parked in the driveway. They had a garage, too, but his car was parked in the driveway or whatever, right? So, I go knock on the door. Like, I didn't, like, boom, oh, I ain't do, like, the ghetto. No, nah, I just, you know, I knock on the door nobody answers. So, I'm like, all right. Anyway, so, I go knock on the door and nobody answered so i rung the doorbell right nobody answered so i'm looking over at her mind you she is pissed off so she like kind of like pacing back and forth she got this thing wrapped around her head like she is wiling right that could just tell like she ready to like pop off because nobody answering the door but we know he in there you know what i'm saying i'm like maybe he's sleep or whatever she's like man fuck that so she get the boom, boom. Like when I say wildin', she get the bang and bang and boom, boom, boom. She's like, whoever in here, they gonna wake up. Cause he here, which is true. He's there. So she boom, 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 boom. Mind you, nobody still didn't answer the door. But he comes to the window, like an upstairs window, right? To the left side of the house. He comes to the window and he like what is you doing like what are you doing like why are you here you know what i'm saying like yelling at her like why are you here and then he clued me of course why y'all here why y'all here or whatever she's like nigga if you don't come down here right now like she get the wild and right long story short she wilding and he like you making a scene like you doing too much like get away he yelling like he calling her all types of names out the window just doing too much so now i'm like hold up because this is my friend like hold up hold up hold up i'm like chill like stop calling her out her name you in the wrong at the end of the day <clears throat> and she was like i just want to know who house you over i just want to know who house you over that female come i'm not gonna give her a name I'm just gonna call her the female the girl whatever right the girl comes to the window and she like get the f away from my house trip get away from my house ho da -da -da -da. this is what she this is what she's saying to this is what she's saying to Janet. She's like, he don't want you. Me and him been dealing with each other for a minute. Da -da 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 -da. Like, we got a child together. Da -da 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 -da. Right? This girl was, I'm, I was shocked because I'm like a child. He never have a child according to what he was saying. Like, this, he was living a double life, right? So, he like, look. <coughs> he like, get away from the house. Like, I'll deal with you later. Ooh, she like, deal with me. Deal with me. She go to the car again. She has eggs. She has condiments. She has um, drinks. Like, just all, like sodas. All types of stuff in her car that she, in her head, was like, I'm just going to damage this dude's car. That was, that was in her mind, right? But because she... She got what she was looking for when we got there and she realized, yeah, he is actually there with a female. It's like the rage took over her. Like, so she goes to her car. She even, she pulled out a knife. She, she brought the knife. She brought all the stuff. It was like in a bag. Like she just brought all the stuff, right? And she was like, if you don't come out right now, I'm slashing your tires. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Me and my homegirl gonna fuck your shit up. Again, I'm with her. So I ain't saying nothing. I'm just like, all right. All right, this is, this is what's happening right now. All right. So the female... She come open the door. She come open the front door. But we not by the front door anymore. Really we like in the, the driveway. Right. Because she by the car. She just threatening him. He's still in the window. He just. They just yelling back and forth. And it's like. I'm with her. You feel me. But at the end of the day. I just felt like. Okay. Somebody had to call the cops at this point. It's no way. 
ton of tents. Somebody called the cops because there's too much commotion going on. People arguing. Don't nobody want to hear that, right? <laughs> so, the girl comes to the front door. But she ain't come outside. Like, she comes to the front door. And, mind y'all, she's pregnant. She is pregnant, right? With his baby. But they already have a child together. Like, this is... He, he had, like, a whole family situation going on. Right? Come to find out. And living a whole double life. Like, Janet is his girlfriend. They made it official. Like, they've been talking to each other for a long time. They talk to each other at night. He be at her house. Um, He got his own place, too, though. So, it's not like he ain't had nowhere to stay or nothing like that. He had his own place. Or she was at his house. And I don't know how he was doing it. Like, how he was, like, hiding the fact that he had a whole baby mother, a whole family, or whatever. But, yeah. So, when we see her at the door, she's just yelling and saying stuff or whatever. Janet was about to, you know what I'm saying, tee up on her. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. Look at her. I'm like, she pregnant. Like, she's like, oh, you pregnant? That, and like, that ticked her off. When she seen that the girl was pregnant, that was it for her. Like, she get the porn and stuff on a nigga car. She slashed his tires. She like, help me, bitch. Like, talking to me. Like, help me. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, because I'm, I'm processing the situation, like, fast. Like, all this is happening fast, but I am processing the situation. I'm like, damn, he foul. Like, this is fucked up. All right. I ain't slashing no ties. She she doing that all by herself. She getting it. Boom. Bust. Like, I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about getting it. Boom, one time. Boom, them joints popping. Like, she was pissed. That's how pissed off she was. It's like, all right, I will throw eggs on the bitch. Like, I'll throw eggs, I'm throwing eggs. Whatever else she had. Chips. She had all type of shit. We spraying shit on the car. Like, but she trying to do more damage. He finally come down the steps. He come outside. Now, he charging at her. He charging at her, but it's like... This, I, you, you're not about to put your hands on her. You, it's just not about to happen. I'm like standing in between. It's like he charged at her, but he wasn't going to hit her type shit. She like, what? What you going to do? What you going to do? He going off and I'm in between. I'm like, don't you hit her? Like, don't, don't hit her. He like, what the fuck you going to do? Da, da, da. You know, I'm little. So he like, what the fuck your bony ass going to do? Like going on me and shit. Like, what the fuck your bony ass going to do? You ain't going to to do shit. Get the fuck out my way. Da, da, da. I'm like, you ain't gonna put your hands on her. You know what I'm saying? I be standing my ground. I'm like, you ain't gonna put your hands on her, though. I'm like, say what you wanna say. And I'm telling her, I'm like, just come on. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because the cops, like, the cops about to come, right? As soon as I say that, sure enough, she couldn't bring herself. Mind you, she drove there. She couldn't bring herself to leave. And she wanted to argue with him. She ended up putting her hands on him. He still didn't put his hands on her. Which was a good thing, cause she was she was putting her hands on him, right? Um, pregnant shorty, she come out the house like it was just a lot going on. So the cops pulled up, right? But we ended up getting out of there before the cops like fully hit the block. Like you can hear them coming. I'm like, bitch, let's go! Like let's get the fuck, let's go! So we we hopped in the car. Went the opposite way. Got out of there. So, we get the fuck out of there. She driving. She ended up driving to her house. Like, it was no... I, I don't know what was wrong. I don't know what was wrong with us. I could tell you that I know I was quiet because I knew that she did too much. Like, and then I was involved with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, thinking to myself, like, okay... Was this worth it? Like, am I going to get in trouble for this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I do have a kid. Like, am I going to get in trouble for this? For real. And I wasn't thinking prior. I wasn't. But it is what it is. That's what happened. So, she goes straight to her house. We go in. We sit in there. And eventually, one of us had to crack. Like, one of us had to talk. I'm like, girl. I'm like, you good? You know what I'm saying? That's what I started off with. I wasn't going to just i didn't want to come off right off the back like pointing fingers like girl you did too much da, da, da. like but i was just like you good you know what i'm saying she was like no you know then we we get to talking about it or whatever she's like no i'm not good like, i can't believe him da, da, da. you know what i'm saying and then i get to tell like then i get to like going off on her a little bit because i'm like 
you knew like don't try to sit up here because she was trying to make it seem like this call her off guard i'm like not really like you knew he was fucking around with other women you still decided to fuck with him like and then i started talking about like the situation that just happened right and i'm just like I kind of was just like, now I'm going on her a little bit. Because I'm like, then you got me involved. And you already knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already knew he was fucking. But I didn't, honestly, y'all, when we went, I didn't think she really was going. Because she didn't give me, like, she never gave, like, crazy. Like, I'm going to really do some crazy shit. She gave, Janie gave me the type, like, okay, eventually, like, once she done, she done. She just going on. You know what I'm saying? Just go fuck with somebody else. Like, like she seemed confident like that. Like, just so beautiful, confident like that to where as though she not, like, going to be stuck on no dude. Like, yeah, he was fooling around. She would tell me little stuff here and there. But I ain't think... I just thought, like, she just didn't give a fuck. Like, she was going to keep fucking with him for, because the D is good. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really what it was. Like, and I ain't going to say that's just what it was. Because he was, like, buying her things and doing stuff with her like taking her out like and shit like that. that's why i'm like i don't get how how he was living two lives like i, I just <laughs> i don't get it but that's what they do you know how they do so now that i'm i'm sitting here and like going on her like and hey, you got me involved but you already knew this so you sitting up here like it's no point of you sitting up here crying like i was giving her like that tough love like speech or whatever and that backfired on me because I'm coming from a place where you my friend. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm with you. But we, it's like we can't, you can't just be out here doing no, it's like now it's time to just sit down and talk about it. Like, all right, we did that. But now you can't just be out here doing that stupid ass shit. Like, if you stop fucking with him, like, you see what happened. You see he got a child. You see he got a baby on the way. Like, this is it. Like, this is the end. This is it. And she like, well... It's, it's, it's over with when I say it's over. Like, she, now she mad at me, basically, long story short. Now she mad at me, and we, we going at it. Like, she mad at me, like, well, I didn't force you to go. Da -da -da -da. If anything happened or anything come up and they try to charge me for anything, you're getting charged too. Da -da -da. And I'm like, getting charged for what? Throwing eggs? Because you don't want to set up there and, and slash his ties. You really took took that knife. She on scratch. She scratched up the car too. I forgot to mention that. She was doing a lot. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going down for throwing juice on this nigga car that can wash off. I'm not doing that. I didn't break no windows. I didn't slash no tire. I didn't do none of that, right? But there's no proof of that. There's no cameras. Um, so there's no proof. It's just he say she say type situation at this point right but i'm like it's like she just like flipped on me because she mad and i'm like i'm telling her i'm like okay you seem like you mad so i'm gonna go ahead and go like i need to go or whatever and i was like you need to drop me off because she picked me up you know what i'm saying i'm like you need to drop me off at home like i'm ready to go because i'm not about to sit up here and you sit up basically she was telling me like if she go down i'm going down right and how she not done with him. Like, this is not over with. Da, da, da. I'm like, why are you so stuck on it? She just didn't like my response to that. I guess she thought that I was just going to be the yes, wo yes woman. I'm just going to agree with everything that she say. Like, no. But prior to me seeing all of that go down and seeing how he really was treating her, it was more so of like, yeah, she was telling me a little stuff here and there. Like, oh, I went through his phone and he was talking to somebody. But it was never, it seemed like, he was so good at deleting shit that the stuff that she would tell me was like mediocre stuff. Like, okay, he told he sent a text to a woman. He said, "Hey," or he responded to a woman, or he on social media like was commenting under stuff. It was never like, oh, she knew he had a baby and all of this stuff. Like, it was never that deep. So it was like, okay, um. Now that we know the real, now that I know how severe the situation is, I'm going on her because I'm like, yeah, leave him alone. He's going to ruin you. You have no kids. You have no ties to this man. You have your own shit, your own motion going on, your own. Like, you don't need to be stuck with him, but she didn't like that. 
she didn't like that. So she going on me as well. So she like, I'm not taking you home. Like you want to find another way home. I said, okay, bet. She only had to tell me once. Like at that point I knew I'm looking at her funny. Like, oh, you is not my friend, bitch. Like, I don't know who the fuck this is right now. So I tell her, I'm like, I basically, I got me a ride or whatever. My ride was on the way. Cause I ain't even live that far from her. I'm like my ride on the way anyway. You know what I'm saying? But while I'm sitting there, I'm looking at her, giving her her like dirty ass looks. Cause it's like, bitch, how you just, we were so cool. And you just flipped on me. I even came with you to do this stupid ass shit. And then you gonna flip on me. I'm not saying nothing wrong. I feel like I wasn't saying nothing wrong. I'm saying what a friend should say. Like you're being stupid. Period point blank. You, you willing to go to jail behind this nigga? They got multiple babies, probably multiple baby mothers, probably got a whole nother. Because the way the girl was saying it as if, like, she know about his, like, little side chicks. Like, she like, you just wanted, because I remember when she was arguing, she like, you you wanted a hoes, you wanted a side bitches. Da -da -da. You just a little trick, you little daughter. Like, she was saying shit like that. So it's like, he probably got other girls. Well, she used to it. And she don't care. The baby mother don't care. Some women just don't care. Okay. She probably just don't care. But it's like when it gets to the point where like you, you pulling up and you following this nigga everywhere and all that. Like you're doing too much. And she don't. Some women just don't like when you tell them the truth or whatever. And it could have been how I said it or whatever. And it was just like oh, our drilling. It was rushing. Our drilling was rushing or whatever. And like just all types of thoughts going through my head it's like i had to get that out off my chest too at the end of the day like you not fuck with him no more you know what i'm saying like it's no way because we i know for a fact the cops were there you get what i'm saying so this is just a waiting game at this point just waiting until all this stuff unfold to see if like he gonna press charges or see what the fuck he gonna do because she did damage his car right so my ride come she just, I'm looking at her crazy. Like I said, I'm looking at her crazy. And I'm just like, I thought you was my friend. Like, I, I had literally said it to her. Like, I thought you was my friend. She's like, I was your friend. And I'm like, okay. Bad. Like, that hurt me. But I'm like, okay. Cool. Like, I'm like, you mad because... You mad because of what I said about a dude you should stop dealing with? And she was like, get the, like, just treating me crazy. Like, get the, out of my house. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. My ride come. I go home. I go home. And it, it was like three days. Because I remember, like, three days. I, not that I forgot about it, but I didn't care about it no more. I just was like, okay, she don't want to be my friend no more. I ain't going to be her friend no more. Cool. Like, I don't care. Again, I didn't talk about it. I just, whatever, right? But it's. You know, it's just one of them things where it's just like, it still was just fucked up. Like, I did feel some type of way or whatever. So, I just, I just, I just balled it up and try to put it behind me or whatever in those little three days. The third day, she called me. And mind you, I never blocked her. I ain't blocked her. I just was like, I guess we just not cool or whatever. And in the back of my mind, too, it was just like, we were heated. Like, it was a heated argument. This, that stuff just went down. So, we'll probably just cool off. But I'll talk to her eventually. You know what I'm saying? I, that's how I was kind of looking at it. Like, I'll probably talk to her eventually. Maybe she'll apologize. But how she just, like, went about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just telling her to do she fucking with ain't shit. And he wasn't. So, but all that that she did to me, the stuff that she was saying to me was like, okay. Like, yeah, I'm going to throw you under the, like, just... That's wild, right? So she called me and she was like, I'm just letting you know that the cops may come to your door. And I'm like, the cops coming to my door for what? She's like, because of that little situation that went down, because he's trying to press charges. And I'm like, okay, well, how do they know my address? Because he don't know my address. She was like, I right, they came, um, they came and talked to me, and I gave them your address because they asked for it. That right there, that was the end of it. Because I just felt like you didn't it's they didn't threaten her that's why i'm asking her i'm like did they threaten you i'm talking about the cops did they threaten you and may force you to tell them where i live 
She like, no, they just said he just want to ask some questions. But that's why I'm calling you to let you know. Like, just tell them. Like, she's trying to tell me what to tell them based off her story. And I'm like, I'm, if, I'm like, if the cops come to my door, I'm telling them the truth. Because one thing about me, I'm going to tell the truth. Okay, I'll own up to my actions. But at the end of the day, it just pissed me off because, like, you threw me under the bus. Like, you, you really... And this is I came for you. I just felt like you should just been like, oh no, it was just me. Yeah, I slashed his tires. I threw something on his car. It was just me. Nobody else was involved. And that's just that's how I felt, right? Then y'all let me know. But again, I will take accountability for my own action. But it was just the fact that she threw me under the bus. So the cops did come to my motherfucking house, maybe like two hours after that phone call. I was pissed. I'm on the phone. I'm going on. I'm on the phone. Like, I'm going to beat you up. Like, I, at this point, like, now I want to fight her. Like, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to come over there. Da, 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 da. Like, I was saying all this stuff. She like, you gonna, what you trying to fight me for? What you trying to fight me for? She ain't want to fight me. Which, that was crazy to me, too. Because it's just like, girl, you doing a lot. You, 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 you're giving. You want to fight. Like, because now I'm pissed off. I was never pissed off this whole time because it was not my situation. I really wasn't pissed off. It's just I thought I was being a friend. You, you don't get it. Well, I'm telling I'm like, you don't really get why I'm pissed off right now. I'm pissed off because you could have just left me out of it. I'm pissed off because you really said you was going to do that and you actually did it. Because I already knew. I already, Like I said, I already knew the cops was going to come for her. I already knew. Any, and if they wasn't, that would have just been on the dude. Like, but I felt like he was pissed. You know what I'm saying? The way he was talking to her and all that about her doing what she did. Like, it was no way he was just going to let that slide. Like, he wanted her to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? Or get locked up for it. It was going to be one or the other. So they, the cops come to my house. And they just, they was, the cops was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just was, like, trying to figure out what was going on or whatever. So, I told them the truth. Literally, everything I just told y'all. But plus more because this was current at the time. So, like, stuff that was said, things like that. Like, I told them the truth. Thankfully, the cops was just like, you know, um, you know, thank you for that information or whatever. And because, you know, they not... The guy wasn't trying to press charges on me, okay? They just wanted to talk to me. They really did just want to talk to me and see what was, you know, what happened. But um, he wasn't pressing charges on me. He was just pressing charges on Janet or whatever. So, after that, long story short, I ended up getting a, like, restraining order on her. Um, and I found this out just through, like one of her friends that's how i found out because it's just crazy because i ran into one of her friends like and i knew one of her friends from like us hanging out and stuff and um we you know we said hi to each other she was just telling then this was a while ago too when i ran into the front but she was just telling me like what happened because after that conversation i had with Janet, when she was like yeah the cops coming to your house da, da, da. i ain't told her i blocked her after that like with that we is no coming back from this like i don't i'm not fucking with you so um yeah, I didn't talk to her, so I ran to her friend, and she was just, you know, telling me, you know, how she was doing, basically. But she was like, yeah, the dude ended up getting a restraining order. She had to pay. She basically had to pay for his, um, his tires or whatever, which wasn't a lot. But she had to pay for that or whatever, and that was it. Like, nobody, she didn't go to jail or anything like that, but it was just like, it was the principle for me. Like, I would have still been ride or die with her had she not had treated me the way she treated me. It's like, you were mad that I was spitting facts. And I feel like anybody, anybody, this not just like, oh, your opinion thing. No, anybody would have been that friend. I've had a friend that had to be like that with me. Like, okay, don't be stupid over no dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're doing too much type of friend. We all need that type of friend. Like, I'm going to keep it real. Like... I know when I'm doing stupid shit and doing stuff wrong, and sometimes you do get crazed, like, you get a little crazy, and, like, you just go off on the deep end, but, like, not having that type of friend in your corner to just check you, like, girl, no, like, stop, like, just, just really stop.
and you can't say stuff like that in a nice way it's like give them the 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 harsh truth like the harsh reality of what you see going on, on the outside looking in like this not love this not somebody that really fuck with you clearly so and it just it was just the stuff that she was saying and how she kicked me out basically um and then tell the cops that i had part in in it when i felt like she could have just left me out of it because the thing is what i found out after that when i was talking to the cops they even told because i asked i wanted to know i was just like who told y'all that i was involved with it like how did that like but before i'm talking about before they went to janet house to question her who told y'all about like like i know it was the guy and so the cannon and his baby mother because that's i guess that's who she was right so cannon and the baby mother i'm asking the cops like what did they say you know what i'm saying like and this was before i gave my story my little statement i told him i said i'm gonna tell y'all what happened like just everything that happened but like what did they say and they told me straight up like the cops was cool you know what i'm saying they was just like yeah they ain't even mention you they really didn't mention you he they, they literally just mentioned her right so that really that ticked me on because like they didn't even mention me but when they got to her house when they got to Janet's house Janet was all for constantly constantly they even they even told me they said that she brought you up a few times and i'm just like why she didn't just like you could have just told your part of the story and left me out of it hey y'all it is in rudy here so i just want to throw this in there as well because i don't know why i didn't mention this but she wasn't being truthful truthful about her part of the story anyway like what she told the cops when she called me and said the cops were on the way to my house and she was trying to basically tell me she basically told me what she told them she did not tell the truth all the way because she didn't want to get herself in trouble like again there was no cameras there was no nothing this is more this all just he say she say stuff so she going against what the, what Cannon saying and the in the the baby mother saying and told the cops like some other stuff that just really wasn't the truth, right? She she said um you know Cannon put his hands on her. He didn't do none of that, and she wanted me to lie. I told the complete truth at the end of the day. Had she not had thrown me under the bus, cause like my thing was was if you're gonna lie, just you could have just left me out of it. That's how I felt. Now, now we see. I didn't know this at the time, but nothing happened to me. They just wanted, really, just wanted to talk. But prior to that, I'm thinking all types of stuff. Like, okay, I don't know what she said. If you lied about him hitting you and stuff. I don't know what you told them. Cause before, when she kicked me out of her house, she, I'm talking about she. I didn't even say everything that she was saying because I don't remember everything. But I know, I know how I felt in the moment. I know that she was she flipped on me okay she like i don't i'm a i'm gonna tell them that you you had help with me slashing the tires and cracking the window and scratching up the car like i'm telling you she did a lot okay messed up the the license plate like she really just tore the car up tore it up and she gonna say this that, that oh yeah i'm gonna tell them that you had part in that as well I just that's just that's just not right you know what i'm saying so anyway that i just wanted to throw that in here because if you're gonna lie anyway why why not just leave me out of it you know what i'm saying you really was my friend because i came with you you could have did this by yourself you know what i'm saying but because i came with you like if i had a friend that came with me to do something i'm leaving her out of it like unless Unless my friend went above and beyond and just like did some extra shit that was beyond what I was doing. Okay, cool. But I didn't do anything. I literally threw food on the dude's car. That was it. Like literally, that was it. And I barely was doing that. 
and you you made it seem like I had a full involvement. And the fact that Cannon and that girl didn't even mention me, crazy. Like at the end of the day, I did what I did. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. Like that was in my twenties, and um, yeah, that's how I felt back then. I don't know if that was to happen to me. It wouldn't happen to me now. Cause I'm not doing that like that. I'm not doing no crazy stuff that's gonna take my freedom like i don't care i don't care who it is like it, i have a different mindset right now um and y'all could probably tell like my mindset is just completely different from back then and that's not even like a long time ago it's just like my mindset completely changed and um, my homegirl that i have now i remember her texting me and she was saying how you know i still have a kind heart I, i'm still loving i have a kind heart but you can just tell that I'm like, I'm just like hurt, okay, like, and traumatized by people, like just people in general. Not like when it comes to like me having to handle business or making some money or something like that. But when it comes to like somebody truly getting close to me, like I kind of keep everybody at a surface level now because I was so quick. Like, back then, I was so quick. Like, you my friend. I just, I fell for the friendship quickly. If that makes sense. It's like, now, it's like, it's going to take a long time to, like, open me up as a friend. Like, it, it's just going to take a while. You know what I'm saying? For me to, like, really get comfortable with you. Um, to really just be, like, all in. Like, and, yeah. Based off what y'all just heard, y'all can understand why. But yeah, that's the end of the story time, y'all. I'm going to end this video here because I feel like it was too long. But I'm going to end this video here. Yeah, if y'all enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me about a time that you had a crazy friend that did you wrong. Okay? Rather, if it was something small or big, it's it's the principle. Okay? Let me know down in the comment section below. Tell me what your thoughts was about this story time. And I will see y'all in the next one.